Welcome to another episode of Photoshop for Beginners. In this episode I will talk about adjustments. There are two ways of using adjustments. The first method is going to image and you have the adjustments menu here. And the second method is using what's called an adjustment layer. Uh, you can access uh, the adjustment layers from this icon on the layers palette. If you click it you will see a list of adjustments and when you select one of the adjustments from here you will create a new layer and I'll talk about both uh, methods in a second. You can also access adjustment layers from the menu layer, new adjustment layer and you have the same list here. The difference between using adjustment layers and using adjustments from from Im from the image menu is that uh, here you have a few adjustments that cannot be used as adjustment layers. The other ones uh, are available. As I said there are two ways of using adjustments and I suggest you use adjustment layers whenever possible. So I have this image here and let's say I want to uh, make the colors a bit uh, more saturated. So boost uh, the colors a bit and you would go to image adjustments and choose hue saturation or vibrance but hue saturation is available in all Photoshop versions and you would use the middle the, this slider here in the middle and boost the saturation a bit and you can see that the the colors are a lot more vibrant now and from here you can uh, shift the colors but obviously this uh, is not too realistic uh, let's do something like that and click OK. And now the adjustment has been applied to the image. But the problem with this method is that I cannot, I cannot change the settings of that adjustment. So I suggest you use adjustment layers as I said. So go to this icon here because it's a lot quicker than going to the menu. And click here and choose Hue Saturation again. And do the same. Increase the saturation a bit and let's change the hue to make it uh, to add a bit more blue so now you can see that I have a new adjustment layer on the layers palette and another benefit of using adjustment layers is that the original image is untouched I can always disable this layer and see the original image and of course I can double click here and change uh, any of the settings here because you can see that uh, they stayed the same so now that you know how to apply adjustments, uh, let's see a few of the common ones. Uh, this is a very used to change, uh, to increase the colors of the image or to make it to turn into black and white. If you set saturation to zero, you turn the image into black and white. But if you, if you want to make black and white images, interesting black and white images, you should use the black and white adjustment because this one gives you a lot more control over each color so you can set the brightness of each color um, just by using this uh, sliders here so you can darken the, the blacks and the cyans and yeah, let's see we don't have too many yellows here in this image but let's see what we can do with these uh, sliders so you can see that uh, you get a lot of uh, an image with a lot more contrast than just using hue saturation and saturating the image and in fact I'll show you that really quick I'll add another hue saturation set saturation to 0 uh, to minus 100 actually and just see the difference uh, uh, compare this black and white image to this one so it's a lot uh, it's a lot better using the black and white if you overdo the settings you will start to see a really nasty noise here so you have to be careful with that another adjustment layer that I use a lot is color balance and this is for changing the colors using um, this uh, three channels you have shadows midtones and highlights and let's say I want to add some to remove some of the magenta tint that you have here in this rocks and since the rocks are a lot darker than the rest of the image I will choose shadows I want to uh, remove some of that magenta so I'll use this slider and increase uh, 
add more green to take away some of the magenta because green is the opposite of uh, of magenta and let's say on the on the midtones uh, we can add more blue and more cyan and on the highlights which are uh, the clouds and these uh, bright uh, highlights here on the on the water uh, let's see we can add more red and more yellow this is not too realistic but but this is one way of achieving that effect that you see on uh, the actions that you download from the internet so let's open an, another image now if you want to have more control over over colors and channels you can use uh, the selective color adjustment and this one is a bit more complex to use because you can affect each color independently and for for each color you have four you have four um, sliders so you have all these colors and all the sliders for each color so let's say I want to change the blues I select blue and I can on the blue colors I can add more cyan or more red negative value on cyan means I add more red and positive values means I add more cyan and on magenta if negative values on magenta means you add green and negative values on the yellow means you add blue so as I said it's a bit more it's a bit more um, difficult for beginners but uh, that's how it works so uh, if you're not really under, if you don't really understand how this works, it's better you to use color balance. It's a lot easier to use. Another adjustment layer that it's uh, really easy to use is photo filter, and with this filter you can add um, a tint to to your image. You have a few presets here. Uh, if you want to make your image warmer, you can choose one of the presets here, and you can increase the density. So you can see how the image changes. It it adds more, more of that uh, orange there. You can add more red, and you can totally change the look of the image. Of course, all adjustment layers have uh, blend mode, so you can choose any blend mode for, for your adjustments, and you can get some really nice uh, effects depending on which adjustment you have, and also you have. Uh, opacity values and layer style so it, they work just exactly as as any uh, normal layer if you want to adjust contrast and brightness I suggest you use levels or curves instead of using the brightness contrast I usually use levels or curves levels is a lot easier to use you have here this histogram and here you have the shadows the midtones and the highlights and if you want to make um, the image brighter you just play with the sliders and curves uh, is just like levels uh, but here you can add more control points to to the areas that you want to affect on the left side you have the shadows and on the right side you have the the highlights you can use this to kind of shift the entire curve here and you can add as many points as you want here just by clicking and if you want to delete some of these points just click on them and drag them up and they disappear so click and drag and they go away and have a few presets here if you want to use them so that's all about adjustments they are really easy to use uh, remember that using adjustment layers is a lot is a lot better because you have control over the settings of the adjustment and you also don't affect the original image which is uh, something you want uh, if you make if you have several layers and if you want to edit your image later on